From Minute Maid Park in Houston, we bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Houston Astros. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton singing a pair of top-level arms on the mound today. I think what makes these guys so great is their tempo. They don't take very much time in between pitches. It doesn't give the hitters an opportunity to try to think with you and gain an advantage in this chess match. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away, and on the hill today, Jose Urquidy. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it bangs up against the wall. Well, I think we need to take another look because that was mostly a blur off the bat singing. Yeah, it wasn't easy to track it initially, and that ball was just scorched. And StatCast telling us left his bat flying at 119 miles per hour. And I'll tell you, as a fielder, you're just happy when those are hit at someone else. Next pitch misses, and the count is filled up. Ramirez on at first, nobody out. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Cut on and miss. Throw safe. Well, almost a strike him out, throw him out play right there, but 3 2 is a great count to run on. There's a good chance the hitter puts the ball in play, so it can turn into a big play offensively as well. Now, here is Patrick Conley in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. The next pitch misses. Ball three. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. The pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Ramirez coming home. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Shohei Otani. Line drive. Base hit. Tucker to third and the throws off line safe at third and his hitting streak continues there have been the almost no bad days for him in the past month this guy's running yeah. hot boog and people around the league are paying serious attention to this streak now especially the pitchers that are trying to slow him down one away runners at first and third so in now for Cleveland Josh Bell good power not great in the OBP department. Quick feed to second for one. On to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Throw is wide, he's off the bag. Run scores, and this inning continues. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Brett Phillips digs in for the Guardians. Lays down a bunt to the right side, and he picks it up in foul territory. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. They stop the lead runner at second. 
Now two on with two outs. So well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. This is Dylan Carlson. That one is absolutely belted. It bangs off the wall. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they lead by four. Back-to-back -back base hits. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And the pitch. And that one popped to short. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. On to the bottom of the first. Guardians four. The Astros coming to bat. Back here in Houston, and today's starter, Zach Plesak. Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. Bottom of the first, leading off, Jose Altuve. The Strohs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The wind and the pitch. Got him looking. And there's one down. Boog, I wouldn't know personally unless you're going to consider my little league exploits, <laughs> but it's got to feel good to break off a curveball like that Jeremy. and completely lock a hitter up, especially yeah. on the front door. Listen, I've been on the receiving side of that. It's not a good feeling, but that's really good pitching right there. And here is Jeremy Pena. Carlson settles under this one, puts it away for the out. That is now we check out the Astros lineup. Of course, one of the best players in the game today, Kyle Tucker. He took a pretty big step last year, a Silver Slugger Award in the American League, and now you're on the radar. Everyone knows it, your teammates know it, they expect a lot from you because of that success, and so there are going to be times where you're going to have to put the team on your shoulders, and I know he's more than capable of doing that. Here's Jordan Alvarez, really thriving with the bat this season here at home. Next pitch inside, and it's 2-1. and one. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Here's a 2-1. And that's down and away. And a 3-1 on the way. And a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Foul ball there. The wide to kick the pitch. Stays alive. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. New inning getting started, and now it's Ahmed Rosario. The wind of the pitch. Way high. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning. Through a lot of pitches. Righty to the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Now batting. The third now it's field. Jose Ramirez. Jose. Seventh right Jose. now and runs batted in the American League. One down, base is empty. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Now back, the center fielder, 
Jason Dominguez. So digging in, Jason Dominguez went down on strikes his first time through. Just a slow ground ball this time. Shiner steps on the bag, and that will end the inning. We go to the bottom of inning number two. Guardians four, and the Astros nothing. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Kyle Tucker. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. Kicks and deals. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Up the middle. The throw to first, and Tucker is retired. Singy, what kind of strike zone Not is most hit. frustrating for hitters? Hitter. I'd say Anthony. off the plate, away, and down. Oh. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. The 1-1. One, one. Just nope, off the outside, outside edge. Ball. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about... Oh, and a great stop! It's there, and that's a great play. I love the fact that the pitcher didn't become a spectator on this play. Nice job by the first baseman to dive, get dirty, knock great that ball man. down, and if the pitcher's not there, he's got nobody to flip it to. Excellent job by both those guys. Here's Alex Bregman. Comes in working with the sixth best average in the AL. Two outs. And he gets Bregman. And that's the third out. Astros are down quietly. They're down 4-0. Back here in Houston, all set for the start of the inning. And now the big-time power threat, Patrick Conley. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. Inside, just missed. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Shiner handles. Next offering is foul back. And the right hander deals. That one to first. Oh, nice play. And they get the out. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Single to right in his first trip. Next pitch is inside. And that's ball two. Righty delivers. Just missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The 3 1. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting the first baseman. John. Two outs, base is empty. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Alvarez under it. Puts the squeeze on it. That is the inning. We head now to the home half of inning number three. Guardians four and the Astros nothing. Miles Straw getting ready to hit. Straw hitting better against right handers this year, so some reverse splits there. Oh. 
on the ground to the left. Throws across the diamond. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Corey Lee. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Got him. Now two away. And stepping in for the Astros, Jake Shiner. First baseman, Jake. Next offering upstairs. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. On to Rosario, and that is the inning. So the Astros lead one. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. As we go to the top of the fourth, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brett Phillips. Here's a 1-1. He swings and fouls one off. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. The 1-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering way off the plate. Left hand hitter waits. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, right side. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Dylan Carlson. Carlson. Swing and a miss. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. And up next for Cleveland, Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor. The pitch. That one misses. Two and one. And a pitch. That's a ball. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Ahmed Rosario, the next to hit. And Boog, I'd say he's due. On the ground to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. A new pitcher in the game, Christian Javier. This won't be easy for him as he comes in with the bases loaded. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So the batting order turns over. Now it's going to be Jose Ramirez. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. This one smoked out to left, and Ramirez is set down. Both runners tagging from second and third. And he's safe at third as a run scores. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jason Dominguez. 
Corners are occupied with two down. Up the middle. Base hit and a run comes in. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Strong settles under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Guardians six, and the Astros nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Now the number two hitter, Jeremy Pena. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You've right got to continue fielder. to keep Number your 30. head down, play catch with that oh, catcher, yeah. and just try to move through this lineup. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. 0 for 1 so far. Next pitch is inside, and now 3-1. and one. And he deals. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. But well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better They're chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right Anthony. there. Now it's Anthony Rendon. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One left for Houston. They still find themselves down. Six in. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the Guardians DH, Shohei Otani. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And that one is lifted in the air. Alvarez drifts towards it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. The batter, the first baseman, Josh. Josh Bell at the plate now. The pitch. And it is two and one. Action in the pen down there. Dan Winkler getting loose out there. To the right side. Now Tuve handles it. Fires over to first. And the first two set down at the top of the fifth. Now batting. Right fielder. Brett. Brett Phillips digs in now. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. Guardians go down one, two, three. They lead it, though, six zip. I don't think you understand. I'm on my way. Welcome back. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Alex Bregman. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Here's a 2-2. Ground ball could be two. To second, pulls him off the bag. 
Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. And there's one away. The first baseman. Number Next to hit, Jake Shiner. Jake. Runners at first and second with one gone. The punch out there, and there are two down. No, well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location now there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused oh, on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Next offering is in for a strike. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Jose Altuve will touch them all. His 13th home run of the season, and they tack on three. It's 6-3. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Next offering misses, ball two. Right hander kicks deals. And there's a ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. In the air right field. Phillips makes the catch and that'll do it. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three run homer. It's now 6-3. Six. So in now for Cleveland, Dylan Carlson. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. Swings and misses, and he's down on strikes. For the second time today. And next is the now Guardians catcher, the Bo catcher. Naylor. Bo He's 0 for 1. Naylor. And a 1 1. That one oh. missed. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Aaron Loop preparing to come on if needed. Next offering is fouled back. Comes a 2-2. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Back to work. 3-2 now. Ripped to third and caught. The batter number one. Second baseman. Ahmed Rosario Ahmed. digs in for the Guardians. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Three balls, two strikes the count. And there's a foul ball. Slapped foul. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a three two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 
Grinding A.B. right here, about to see pitch number 10. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Here's Jose Ramirez. Jose. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Alvarez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Part of the order, 3-4-5, coming up. It's the Guardians 6, and the Astros 3. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Astros, you're Don Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average but there's on base and slugging too. To the right side, and he takes it himself for the out. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle Tucker. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And the righty deals. And a count one and two. The pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. No matter. Number six. That definitely That's deserves another look, Chris. That cast shows us that was about as good as it gets in the outfield. You're right, and it doesn't get much better than that. It's so rare, Boo, to go that far and still be able to make the catch without leaving your feet. That right there, that is elite athleticism on display. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. On the ground right side. Rosario tosses the first. That takes care of Rendon. And that ends the inning. We're through six full. It's the Guardians six and the Astros three. Aaron Liu comes on now, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 38, Aaron Liu. We go to the top of the seventh, stepping up for the Guardians, Jason Dominguez. And a pitch. Back to the mound. Gathers and throws the first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Now Good fade and sinking action shot. of that changeup. Got Patrick. that hitter to roll over. Conley. And up next for Cleveland, Patrick Conley. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. And a rope into center field, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Singy, oh, he squared that one up in a, a big way. So let's take Joe another Hay. look at it with StatCast. Dead head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. At the play, Shohei Otani. Next one misses, three and two down. And now the lefty, here's the pitch, run around the goal. Next offering is fouled back. Now move to first, and he's back in safely. He's good, he's good. Runner goes again, and it's fouled away. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Runner goes again. In the air, left field, down the line. 
Alvarez pulls it down. Two down. The first baseman, number 23, Josh Bell. Here's Josh Bell. And a pitch. Two and one to count. Fly ball to right. Tucker under it. And that will end the inning. Ladies One left for the Guardians, please join but they still the lead it 6 3. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's Alex Bregman. Next pitch misses. And it's two and one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And there's a base hit to left. The center fielder, number eight. Miles Straw up next for the Astros. The pitch. Nice stop. The throw, please set. Over to second, on to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to... Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Strike in there. Bro, save! Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Bell makes the catch. Two away now. Up next for the Astros, the first baseman, Jake. Shiner. Jake Shiner up next for the Astros. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Left field, way back there. Didn't quite have enough. So the Astros leave one and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Dan Winkler. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Now it's the right fielder, Brett Phillips, for the fourth time tonight. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. Two, two now. And that one ripped into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. 
Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Next offering is foul back. One two now. Fly ball down the line. Alvarez under it. He makes the grab. And that is that. The Guardians go down in order as they're unable to add to their 6 3 lead. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Manager out of the dugout now, and he will make a move to dip into the Guardians' bullpen. Zach Plesac will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, James Karinchek. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. So he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits the there. Jeremy. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Ball to strike. And that one fouled off. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Popped up. That's a base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Here's a big power throw, Kyle Tucker. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Runners at first and second. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third. The throw in. Safe at the plate. And they cut the lead to two. These guys are relentless. Just till the bell sounds. And they are going to keep coming at you, trying to get you into the corner and knock you out. Two on, one out. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. The 1-1. One, one. And a good eye there. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The 2-1. Good eye right there. His home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. And now a full count. Runners are at the corners, one away. Next offering is fouled back. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a swing and a miss. 
That's the second out. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away now from getting out of a huge jam. And now it's Alex Bregman. Good contact guy, good defender. There's a 1 1. That one ripped. Base hit. In comes the run from third. And they trail by one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Dominguez makes the play, and that'll do it. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Guardians six and the Astros five. Tyler Whitaker now in the game as he takes over third. Now playing third base. Chad Green ready to go. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Now Number 57. Chad Green. Back here at Minute Maid Park. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the second baseman, Ahmed Rosario. Good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And the 2-2. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardian. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Kicks and fires. Right side. Strong. Raging back towards the wall. Pulls it in after a long run. And there are two outs. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. So up next, Jason Dominguez. The 1-1. And another ball. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Pedro Baez up and loosening in the pen. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. 8 9 1 2 up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Guardians six and the Astros five. Here comes a pinch hitter for the Astros. Michael Brantley. A critical at bat in this game for him. Michael Brantley. At the belt and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen, and he'll work on holding this lead. Right-handed reliever. And a swing and a miss. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. I well, we see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple-digit fastball blown Number right by five. someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. Jake Shiner now at the plate. Here's a one two and now two and two oh. 
And now two and two. Got him. That's his second strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just oh, destroy yeah. all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. Okay. See if he can strike out the oh, side. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's already homered here in this one. The next offering misses. Now three and one. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And yeah, the right-hander's 3-1. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. The tying run at the plate. And that one hit to first, and it goes just foul. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Down to their final strike. Got him! And that's the ball game. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 6-5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.